Paige Oliver Bedell and Shatiana. Good afternoon. So well, welcome. It's uh, for this session. We will not have a, a cooking session or a demonstration. Uh, Peter Peter Klimp asked us to talk about us. It's going to be a bit complicated, a bit uh, a bit quick because we have 20 minutes about to talk about how to to build a restaurant group or to build a, to build a success in the kitchen. That's uh, that's quick. It's uh, even nobody asked Steve Jobs to do that in 20 minutes. So it's <laughs> but we'll but 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 we'll try. Uh, very, so very quickly, who are we? I, I need to present myself because I don't need to present Yannick Aleno. Um, I'm a restaurateur. I'm a restaurateur for more than 20 years. Uh, I've built restaurants in Europe, in France, starting to, with a very simple concept, uh, serving mussels and French fries. And we'll build 40 restaurants of the same concept, the first restaurant group to be listed in France. Then I, used, I, I moved to Switzerland and uh, we've implanted a, a big brand of coffee here in, uh, in Asia and in North America. I cannot say the name because it's not the sponsor today. <laughs> uh, and then I, said, I came to settle in Singapore. And Singapore is uh, most probably my last stop. It's, uh, it's a wonderful country, a booming country with, uh, with young talent like you. And it's, uh, it's really an honor to be here to talk to you. Uh, my life is doing restaurants. And then, so after one year playing golf and tennis, I was a bit bored. So I started to open restaurants again. I started with a very simple concept, then not record. And then Savio, and then 83, uh, uh, the vintage room, and made by Bruno Menard, and La Cantine by Bruno Menard. N nine restaurants within, within two and a half years. What, 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 has, what is the secret? If there is a secret, and then after Yannick can, can, can talk about this because it's, that's all his life too. I think there is, a, there is three secrets. One is very hard working. Second is products. And third is learning. There is no order. It's all, it's all together. You know, we're the, we're the same. Since, since 20 years, we're working seven days a week. We're working 18 hours a day. Uh, we're taking uh, one or two weeks of holidays every year. Uh, but we're in our kitchen. We're in our restaurants and we we, 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 we sue everything we have to make it successful. It's not easy and it's a, it's, it's a, real, it's a real industry. We need to learn. You need to, we, we have stage in the learning phase. You cannot become, you cannot go from, oh, I go out from school to I'm a celebrity chef. There is stages, you know. Maybe you will be celebrity chef one day, but first you need to learn. It's hard, it's long hours, it's working with people who are which are, which are very touchy on what you do, not always very nice during service, but that's learning. So and you need to go through this phase to be able one day to be sous chef or to be chef, to have your own restaurant or, 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 to, be, or to be a celebrity chef like, uh, like Yannick Aleno. But Yannick Aleno is not a celebrity chef, it's a chef, you know. His life is in the kitchen. Celebrity, that's on top of that. But we're not doing that for that. It's, it's the passion drives us. That's right. You know, I see many, many uh, young chefs there. So uh, trust me, uh, uh, I, I think I took the, the, the same one that you, you, you will have. You know. I, I just born uh, in a little bistro. My parents used to work very hard. So I think it's the, the, the key of the success. But the thing is, it will be very tough for you to learn how to make food. It will be very tough to put your character a little bit down, to learn of your chefs, you know, because as you know, you have to be very performant, you have to be very attentive, you have to be, and you have to trust about your partner and your boss. The boss can you bring you to the success, but you have to say, okay, one day uh, it's not a good day, the second day will be better. Generally, you know, in, uh, it's not too my critics, but young generations, and it's even the same in France, don't use to, 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 to be patient. Take time to learn. Take time to, uh, to, to get the right information and to build yourself. And if you forget that, you forget that, you know, of course, the food and beverage, you can't learn it through internet. You have to be inside the restaurants. And this is the, 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 the success key. And uh, trust me, I saw 
Olivier, Olivier Watkins. He's there until six morning, finish at 12. He took plates for the service. You know, he has nine restaurants. He can do something else. But he don't forget where he come from. So he's very attentive about the quality of service, the quality of uh, attention you give to your customers. Because the customers are there for your success. Okay? So you have to take care, first of all, of them. Don't, don't, don't build things for you. you know? it's, uh, our profession is to be at the service of others. It's to be at the service of our customers. When, 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 we built, when I built a restaurant, and it's the same for Yannick, I'm sure, it's, uh, you know, we built everything in our mind. It's, uh, so it's a design, it's, 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 uh, it's uh, the dishes, it's uh, the, the cooking, it's the service. We built every detail in our mind, and then we really built it. So it's a process, it's, it's a teamwork, it's also a teamwork, but one day you open the doors of, the, of your restaurant, and you, you lose your restaurant. It's not yours anymore. It's the restaurants belong to your customer. All our industry is on one thing. Give a smile to, custom, to customers, come to diners. Give a smile to them when they come to it, and when they come to it, to your places, you want them to have a smile, okay? And a lot of, a lot of mistakes, and people who are opening restaurants and then closing a few days or a few months after, usually the, it's the same mistake. They're, they're building a restaurant for themselves, you know? I'm doing it for me, it's the decoration I like for me, the food I like for me, and I don't, I don't think about 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 customers, and everything is for them. And, and never forget that. Do work for we're givers, so give, give give to them. That uh, that I think that's one of the key. Can you ask him, ask you a question? Louis uh, Bidichet is there. How many wants to have his own restaurant? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 20% something like that? 20%. So it's a, it's a good motivation. I think your motivation is the, the key of your own success. But uh, be careful uh, when you do that kind of business because it's your own money. Okay? And uh, as you know, the money is very tough to, to, to get and very tough, tough to, to, to save. So I think in the kitchen, one of the success also is to learn how to save your, uh, your money that comes from to save the product, take care about that, the respect of the product you do, the respect about the, the tea you do. You know? Respect each other is one of the key uh, of the success. You know, uh, I started to work, uh, I was 15, so I used to make uh, dishes until uh, 30 years now. And uh, uh, trust me that I learn every day. I learn every day how to make uh, my restaurant full. And uh, my implication about that, about press, about dish, about customers, about my staff, about my, my providers, about all people turn around me, is very important. So you have to spend all your life, I think, in your business. Because that kind of business can work if you don't think about that. After that, you can have a very good, very, very nice life because you, you are passionate by that. So your life is your restaurant and your food. And uh, I think the, uh, you don't have to, uh, you have to take care about uh, the real motivation you have in, in the direction you take, okay? Because you can, you can do that job different way. Celebrities, three stars, Michelin, bistro, you take pleasure, wine, uh, bar, uh, Riel bar, as we, we, we had uh, in Singapore, different concepts are very good, but the same thing is the quality of you, you, you delivery. So that is, uh, that is the key. It has okay. to be serious. Al al always try to look at yourself in the mirror in the morning. You know, it's, uh, we are part of a chain. So respect, respect your products, respect your staff, respect what you're doing around, uh, respect, what, respect what your customers. It's, uh, it's, our lives are dedicated to, to others, and that brings us full of success, brings us money, brings us, uh, bring us a lot of things. But uh, never forget, you know, he's a cook, I'm a waiter. See. That's it. Anyway.
Do you have any questions or something you want to know? No? I'm sure you have questions for Yannick Alino. So anyway, it's, it's really, a, it's really a, a hard and passionate job. So do it with your heart and, and give to the people what you have inside you. And push up and drop the wall. And uh, it's, I think that's a, the, the unique job. Uh, you can get success, you know, easy. We work, but easy, you know. And uh, uh, because people around that earth want to eat and want to eat good. Okay? It's the same for McDonald's. You know. They always think about the quality of, the, of, of what they, they, they serve every single day. So, you know, it's easy to understand. You know, it's, it's our industry is an industry you can, even if you, even if you start with nothing, you can make a big career. It's, uh, there is a lot of, lot of other fields when you're a banker, when you're, when you're a doctor, when you're a lawyer. You need to study, you need to have money to pay for your study and everything. Our industry, you can start at, at the lower stage and you can finish at the highest one. It's just what you have in you to give to others. It's hard and it's, it, it's mainly hard work, listening, learning and try to, uh, and, uh, and then going step by step. I have, I have two, two, two examples, one in France, because when, when I started in one of my first restaurants, one day outside of the restaurant, there was a, a girl. She was, uh, she was, she had absolutely no money. She had no home, nothing, and she asked me for, she asked me for a job. And I, and I said, I, I don't have a job for you. And she begged me, asking, asking for a job. And I give, I, I gave her a job. First, I went with her to buy, to buy proper clothes, and I gave her a job. And I, the job was to open the door. Only things to do. Open the door. Good morning, madam. Good morning, sir. Goodbye, madam. Goodbye, goodbye, sir. Only job. Okay. Few years after, she's still with with the same company, my, my, my previous company. She's still there, and she's managing ten restaurants. There's a question from a gentleman here. Um, hi. Yeah. A question. Um, so currently, the focus of like food now in the world restaurant scene is like, you know, terroir or foraging and, you know, like Noma. So I think like in Singapore, geographically, we have a disadvantage. So is there like a way to overcome this? You know, you know, that's a question for Yannick, but, uh, but, but just to, to, to start, I know a bit Singapore. First, we have a lot of products coming from all over the world. It's, it's not longer to have a product from Paris or from uh, or from uh, or from Australia, than, than having it at the at the south of France, it go it, everything comes here. So we have absolutely amazing products. What we need is to respect our product. The trend is is I, and I truly believe that the trend of the next next and next years are authenticity. You know, we have an authenticity goes from fast food to very high dining restaurants. And uh, uh, Yannick Aleno is here. To, to promote the terroir parisien, is a uh, is French bistro. He's working with Bruno Ménard, the only Singapore-based three Michelin star chef, uh, which is doing La Cantine, also a bistro. Uh, we're not doing ultra fine dining. We have ultra fine dining here in Singapore. They are beautiful, and we have amazing products. So I think that that's a trend. There is no disadvantage because we have we have the we have the product, we have the chefs, we have you for tomorrow. And you're building, you're building tomorrow. That's why we also work so hard. It's not only for us. It's it's part of our uh, uh, commitment to, to 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 learn to the next generation. Because if you know, we are here only for a few years, and I, uh, after it will be your turn. So it's a uh, it's a uh, is it a disadvantage? We are in a country with, which is booming. A lot of restaurants are opening. We have amazing product. We have uh, we have the money to do it. We have uh, we have the diners to do it because Singaporeans are very very clever about their food and they're, and they're going out a lot a lot more than in Europe. So I don't think it's a disadvantage. I think it's I think it's uh, the the future and and also the future of uh, of the cuisine is here in Singapore and in Asia. Yeah, I think also we have uh, a way influence about uh, the things we want to have in our kitchens. Uh, the, 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 
work I, I do around the terroir parisien, it's, be, it's because I need the diversity to make my own job. So in that direction, I said, okay, if I want to save back, to find back the products we lose, I have to work on it. So I work on it, and the terroir parisien is really the influence of that. And you, you see uh, people work uh, around Paris, it's, not, it's less than 50 kilometers around, and they, they used to give, give, give us back the products we lose. That is very important. And you have a responsibility to your providers. You have to be very tough with them because you are the clients. The clients are very tough with you because they pay for the food a little bit. And you have to be tough with the providers. And the more you are strict with them, the more you will have the power to get the best of the best. And you will see how the things uh, turn. You know, in Dubai, it was a little bit the same than, uh, than Singapore. Uh, Dubai, there is nothing. Nothing in. But, trust me, I go around to see all the restaurants and the quality is very high. That means it, it became the hub of world, like Singapore. You know, for the product, it will be not a problem. You will, you, trust me, if you have the, uh, the turnover in restaurants and the power full of money, the provider will come and try to give you the best of the best. And you will see the quality, of course, of restaurants grow up like that. But I, I, come, I come back to the, to the bistro, uh, la, uh, la cantine, or the terroir parisien. We put inside the restaurant the same uh, intelligence or the same uh, professionalism than a freestyle, a ultra dining, uh, fine dining restaurant. It, it, there is no difference. You choose the best product. You have to be there every day. You have to take care of your customers. But of course, you do the things more simply. Okay. And in the plate, the service, the one you choose, is, is not less important than you have in the ultra fine dining. Okay? So we have to focus on the quality and it's the, the key of success. But you can open a restaurant, you know, and people coming in, you know, for two, three months like that, because press coming up, you know, I said, okay, it's, uh, it's new, so we have to learn, we have to go, and uh, if you go one time, two times, Clients come co to your restaurant and say, okay, he's disappointed, he never comes back. So it's very, it's like a tree, you know. Take long time to grow, take 30 seconds to, to go down. So uh, it's really important to, 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 to be quiet, and to be uh, very uh, uh, objective about your, your, your powerful and take step by step. The career has to be, uh, it's, it's, a, it's very tough. It's a, it's, a it's a long way. Let, let, let me take one example. Who, who knows foie gras? Well, there's a lot of people that doesn't know what's foie gras. No, you don't know? What is that? Okay, you all know what's foie gras. Okay, I go, I go ten, 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 ten years before in Singapore. I asked the same question. Probably a few people will know what's a foie gras or 15 years ago. 15 years ago, it's a it's it's a it's a French product, you know. It's a, it's a, one of the most renowned French products, but it came to Singapore. It came to Asia, like a lot of products from Asia came to Europe, came to the U.S. And now there is almost no restaurant in Singapore without without a dish with, with, with foie gras. It's a, it takes time, and even big big houses, Maison Rougier. I don't know if you heard about Rougier. He's one of the biggest uh, 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 foie gras makers in, uh, in the world. He has now a, a farm in, in China where, where he's doing amazing foie gras. So we have, we, we have all those products, but everything takes time. So there's a process, there's a process to learn. You know, and, and I'm French, Yannick is French. When we're coming with our, with our French cuisine, it's, we, need, we need to give time also to our customers to, 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 to learn this cuisine. And it's the same for, for, for Singaporeans, if you open a restaurant in Paris, we'll, we, we will, you, you will need time for, for, for French diners to understand. And that's also what we are, why we are here for, it's to, it's to learn. And it's, uh, you know, the world now is not the world we had 20 years ago. The world now is, uh, is, uh, is very, very fast. You go from Singapore to Paris in, in, in 10 hours or 12 hours, it's really, really fast. 
So, and um, um, all before it was French cuisine was only in France. Uh, uh, Singaporean cuisine was only in Singapore. Chinese cuisine was well, there's a lot of Chinese cuisine, but uh, different part of China. Uh, uh, now it's everywhere. Everything is everywhere, and it's great because it's it's allow us to to, to learn faster. And uh, for for the business, I can add something. You know, I'm cook. You know. I used to make a very nice dish, you know, I am very creative, so I, I push up more than 200 recipes a year in my restaurants. So the important thing is to look about the energy you put through your business, how you can make it more profitable. So if you think about that, even if you are a chef, you, know, you say, okay, how I can make more money, how I can get more interest by my company, how I can make communication. For instance, I will tell you an example. I have a friend of mine, he's a very uh, important person, run a big company of communication, it's called Mr. Boloré, Avas. And he, he gave that advice to a small company who, who want to become Coca-Cola, it was Red Bull. And he told to, to, the, to, the, to the owner of Red Bull, he said, okay, you know, you should make your own medias if you want to control your image. And I took that advice and I, I, I made that magazine, you know. This is inside, in fact, a kind of uh, trans transmission I do for young chefs. And now the media of food became the first the leader of the uh, professional magazine in France. That means the energy I put in my plate, the energy I put on the pictures, of course I can do books with that. But it was more uh, rapid and more easy to, to the to people buy it because it's cheaper than a book okay so every two months I give a magazine to the, to the professional one in, in Paris and in France Switzerland Belgium and I know I, I, I try to develop that for the other, other countries I go in England I will go you know. and that energy I put in my plate in my creativity I save it and I put all energy to, to have a good image because that brings me a good image because young chefs know me so they, they want to come with us to learn how we make that so that is uh, because the, the staffing is something uh, very important for us without you we can't run companies so we need to be the more attractive for you so that that is a uh, one uh, one key of uh, of the success and the second one is, of course, they pay for that. And I, I have money to make more plates, to make, you know, reportage, and uh, to make some uh, tour of France to know the product. So I pay people to go around, collect for me information, bring me information. So I put in my uh, computer more information. And the more I am educated, the more I can create. So, you know, it's... Uh, do you say? It's an eternal yeah, process. Ah. It's an eternal process. That means you, you, you have to choose the more creative people, you know. And uh, trust me, you have to, to, to find the right uh, the right car to, to, uh, to have a good career, okay? And uh, I, I'm sure if I am young, a young, a young chef, I heard about, Olivier said, I start with muscle and fried. I made 40 restaurants. I sent my resume to him. I said, okay, I want, to, I want to know. I want to know how you do that. I want to know where you cut your energy. Huh? But it's very important to know and to choose also your own partners. So this is one of the key also. So the success brings the success. So be stick with the success and trust me, you will grow more. Uh, you put a, a stair in a, an elevator. And don't try to don't try to go too fast. And the real advice is, don't step from one position to another, from one restaurant to another too quickly. You know, yeah. there is, you, you need time to learn, as, we, as as we did. You know, it's not it's not coming in, in one week, in two weeks, in two months. Go and take a position in a restaurant, even if it's hard. Stay for two years, then move or st or, or, or or go to a new position in the same restaurant. But don't go. You know, in, you, you, you know, in Singapore, a lot of young young, young chefs or young waiters, uh, uh, they want they they are jumping from one restaurant to another. It's a real mistake. You know, even if you're not totally happy, even if it's hard, 
even if the chef is, uh, is, is very, very hard with you, it's because he believes in you and because he wants you to learn. Take a position, stay there for, 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 for two or three years, and then make a move. But give time. You cannot go from, from school to chef in one year. That will not happen. That is also important to, to, to know how a uh, uh, manager of company make your recruitment. So imagine you in 15 years and you say, okay, you have, you have in front of you the owner of a big hotel. You know, represent a lot of money. You know, maybe I don't know, 20 million euro of uh, revenue for the FMB, food and beverage. So if you jump all the time, he will look at you and say, how long you will stay with me? Do you think I can trust in you if you make jumps like that every time? So I don't need a go go, I need a chef. So <laughs> that means uh, you will have to take care now to your future. It's very important to earn that. Trust about your future and you will build yourself your future. So of course, maybe you said, okay, I, don't take the I don't take the right choice. It's not my response. But try to to, to to go behind the door. This is always something new and uh, very important for you. And maybe the last thing: believe in you, because it's if if you want a success, if you want to grow, it, it has to to come from you. It's your making your career. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank, thank you, thank you, for being here. Once again, Oliver Becker and Chef Yannick, please give them a big hand. Thank you. Yeah.